Hello guys and welcome back to episode number 23 of the Arsenal Career Mode. Today we are obviously going with two games again. We do start the first one off in the Champions League and it is against Inter Milan who are obviously in our group. Now we do actually need to win this game because as you know in the last episode we kind of fucked up. You know we're not picking up enough points in the Champions League and it is obviously an expectation of us for Arsenal to get through to the knockout rounds and unfortunately I forgot to actually you know wait for the intro screen so I went straight into the game without the you know the kind of the overlay stuff so I do apologize for that although for the second game of the episode it will all be there but we do actually start off quite well against MTM. Notice that my playing style has changed a little bit. Now I decided for this episode I'll see how kind of passing the ball around a little bit more works. I was actually watching Doc Landers earlier on his live Q&A video that he did for his career mode episode and it kind of like showed me that I don't really pass enough you know even though I feel like I pass a lot I'm not playing nice enough and I, felt, I found it a lot easier just passing the ball around kind of you know waiting for the right opportunity and not trying to rush the attack too much because I feel I give away the ball so easily otherwise and that's probably part of the reason that we you know we're not winning as many games as we'd like so I'm gonna be trying possibly in the next few episodes just trying to you know get the ball around a little bit more play a bit more realistically as well just trying to keep hold of the ball playing sensible passes as you can see here not trying to go straight in for the kill and it, it you know it definitely did work as you will see in this episode and we do get very close though of Alexis Sanchez but yeah it was just nice you know it was nice about to just you know like calmly and collectively just pass the ball around the pitch get it to where I want but don't rush it too much just kind of pass to each individual player that I need to make sure that you know I'm playing slow enough to you know try and get some chances and at times you know I was playing a little bit quicker than other times but try and just mix it up a little bit and we do end up with a nice little passing goal there which does relate you know obviously Manzukic just putting it straight into the back of the net and it does make it 1-0 and you can see there just you know a nice few passes just stringing them together and it does actually help a lot if you are struggling with the difficulties on career mode I do find especially offline not so much online but especially offline it can be difficult to beat the CPU at first or it can just be very frustrating to try and get through so you know trying to play a good passing game is actually what I've kind of found to be the most effective way of trying to pick up a result and we do actually we do actually get a lot of bullshit there and it, we do actually go 2-0 up and that goal there I don't know why he's kissing the pitch of the San Siro Sanchez because you're not moving to Italy but whatever but look at that I mean one look who's in goal the poor man Chesney who we obviously sold to them very poor poor goalkeeping from Chesney in both cases really I mean he was having a bit of a shocking game and I'm so glad that we sold off uh, Chesney now because Joe Hart has come into this team and has really made me more comfortable with my goalkeeper the problem with um, Wokak Chesney in real life as well is one game he'll do well and then he'll fuck up and then he'll do well and then he'll fuck up and it, it's just an ever you know ending circle with Chesney but I feel like Joe Hart he might fuck up once in a while but then he'll have another good five or six games before he fucks up again or you know he just is a lot much more consistent than Chesney which is great and you can see here being 2-0 up I was kind of in the driving seat in this game I didn't really expect Inter Milan to get back into the game and we were just having a nice game just passing it around trying to keep it all calm and we do actually utilize the pace that Oxlade Chamberlain does provide us down the left hand side and we are trying to play him more otherwise he's going to want to leave and we do actually look at that for a goal that is honestly probably the most two bullshit goals I've scored in a single game and again Chesney at the fault of it how he didn't manage to save that header when it was going in the net it's really embarrassing and I, I don't know if it's fair to blame Chesney completely or just to blame the actual game mechanics because that for me is just why goalkeepers need to be fixed I mean come on look at that that is pathetic goalkeeping from Chesney and definitely definitely should be saving that as he is a world class goalkeeper but nevertheless we do go 3-0 up against Inter and they do whip across him from Nagatomo into Akadi and he does actually put one past Joe Hart which was a little bit of a shame although we were completely in control of this game it's just a shame to con concede you know in the 80th minute we do get another chance here with Mario Mandzukic. He squares it off down to Oxley Chamberlain, who was having a fantastic game. And we'll be starting the next game against Swansea as well. I decide that if someone does well, no matter what rating they are, they will play the next game if they've done well. And um, Oxley Chamberlain has had a fantastic couple of games for us since he's been coming on. And Sanchez whips one into uh, Mandzukic and Chamberlain gets on the end of it to get his second goal of the game. And that is coming from a left midfield position as well. I wasn't playing him up front or in cam. He was actually playing completely out on the left midfield and I was really happy with that goal actually. A lovely little finish there. I tried doing a triple X cross to Mandzukic. Unfortunately the defender, I think Vidic got in the way of it but um, Oxley chamberlain does make it 4-1 and that is actually how the game is going to end. You can see that here Inter at the end get a chance to try and get a goal back but to be honest it was all over after kind of, you know, we, we went 2-0 up 
in the opening part of the game. But that's another three points in the Champions League. I don't think we're too far off qualifying now. I think we only have to probably win one more game or draw one more game and we should be safe. We do go straight into the next game of the episode away at the Liberty Stadium and obviously that is going to be against Swansea. Now, Swansea are a team, again, that you shouldn't really underestimate, although they don't have the strongest side in the Premier League and actually is a very good good side to start a career mode with if you want a suggestion from me personally. They've got a very young side and also a side that does need some improvements. They've sold on Fabianski by the looks of it. Oh no, he's on the bench, but you can see we do have Olivier Giroud who he did sell to them playing against us hopefully he won't come back to haunt us I wouldn't have thought so you know Giroud for me in FIFA anyway is just really bad I mean in real life obviously as an Arsenal fan I love Giroud he's a you know a fairly decent striker I'd say but you know and I love how Ramsey comes up after Gibbs in the formation loadout even though Ramsey's playing Cam and Kadira is the one playing CDM I don't really know what that's all about it's because it's like a custom formation that I've made the 4141. But Swansea actually do start off very well here. Olivier Giroud passing through to um, Sigerson there. And he almost goes, bends it round the post and in to Joe Hart's net. But thankfully he doesn't. And again, I was trying to play the passing game. I was also trying to be a little bit quicker as well. And we do get Walcott here. Squares it across goal to Aaron Ramsey. Hits it. And it does end up in the back of the net. Within 20 minutes, we are already 1-0 up at the Liberty Stadium. Fantastic start to this game. Really do want to be picking up the win here. Obviously, in the last few episodes, as you would have seen, guys, we haven't been doing too well. We've been dropping points. Just so, so easily. And although we are still unbeaten in the league at this moment, we've played 10 games, I think it is, and we have not lost a single one. We have drawn five of them, so it really needs to kind of improve on the draws and just trying to kill off the game, as I said in the last episode. Just trying to, you know, get that second goal, that third goal to just completely end the game and, you know, stop any chance of the side that we're playing against getting back into the game because we do need to be winning the league this season. It's a big objective of mine to do. And we do get a chance here with Fia Walker. He goes from goal, and unfortunately, a very good save by Zingin, the keeper to keep Swansea at bay and we are still 1-0 up at this point into the 60th minute on the hour mark Swansea do get a chance there luckily it gets headed away and out for a corner I believe and we do get another chance here Fia Walker manages to break through the defensive line and puts one past the Swansea goalkeeper Zingin and does actually put us 2-0 up in this game and pretty much you know with 18 minutes left on the clock it's pretty much certain that we are going to get the three points in this game which is obviously exactly what we want from this game and hopefully we can continue on and hopefully get that. We do get another chance here with Fear Walker. He manages to break into the box and takes a shot. But it does get deflected by the Swansea defender. And Welbeck takes a hit at goal. But unfortunately a very good save from the Swansea keeper. Who hasn't been in the best of form all afternoon shall we say. But that is going to be the end of that game guys. We do actually pick up the three points yet again. Which is absolutely fantastic. Really pleased with our form in this episode. You know two wins out of two is exactly what we need to be doing. Kind of every single episode. Next episode though we do have a game against Manchester City in the Capital One Cup quarter final which is going to be a pretty difficult game. You can see here our um, youth players not doing too well. You know, I just kind of was having a look. We've got Welbeck who wants to play. Morgan Schneiderlin actually wants to leave the club in the transfer window, which I don't know if I'm okay with. I think I might be because we could probably bring in someone a bit younger and also a bit better than Schneiderlin. But, and also, like, Perrin wants to play a little bit more. But that is going to round up this episode, guys. As you can see, we are in second in the league. 14 games played, 9-1, 5 drawn, and none lost. We are still in really good form in that respect. And hopefully we can continue that on in the next few episodes. But if you have enjoyed, guys, if we could smash five likes, that would be awesome. If you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. There will be a link down below. And I'll speak to you guys in the next episode of Career Mode.